Hey everyone, and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Last episode, we did a few missions, or at least one of them, for the print works. Finally. Landed on some racing and stuff too, I'm not sure. By the way, coming down off of the roof, I just wasted like a quarter of the armor I picked up on the roof, but whatever. My car's still here, good. Let's get into the next one. Hit the courier. All right, the courier's moving the plate from the docks today. I'm gonna go intercept them, grab the plates, lose any heat, and make my way back here. Now, depending how well this goes, we may have five minutes to print the money before the counterfeit syndicate finds us, or we may have all year. Either way, I want green rolling off the presses five minutes after I get back, got it? Don't you worry, Tommy. We'll be ready. Me and the boys will be around in the neighborhood in case you need any heat taken care of. All right, everybody cool? Alright, I'll catch you later. Arriving in a helicopter. Good thing I've got a Diablo, but... Or, De Deluxo, sorry, but, um... It's a little messed up. I had already gotten to the print works. Ready to record, and then I realized my mouse wasn't recording. I was in perfect condition. But I had to reload the game and get my freaking mouse to work again. Oh. He should know better than to meet them here. Oh! Great. Ella. This is kind of weird. I don't remember doing this before. So. And here's the helicopter. You? Really? That was a little delayed follow Okay, man, you want this? And a bit of Of course. I was not right before. And here's the cops. Let me guess, my car's gone? Yep. It despawned my car. In that little tiny bit of time. Am I just gonna keep doing donuts? Come on, do another donut. No, I think they're good now. Okay. Nice bird truck. I haven't driven this thing in so long. I can't tell if that's an air horn or some kind of roof screen. I guess shouldn't be quick work again though. I like how in San Andreas there's an asset you can buy that's a shipping company and you can actually like do missions to get trucks and trailers and stuff and bring them back and so on. Alright, they are out. They are on the ground. They are smushed. Uh oh, uh oh, boom boom. Okay, that should have taken out the one cop car. You know what? Uh oh, uh oh, get uh -oh. up. This way. Go, 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 go. I should have taken the ambulance. Whatever. This should hopefully be strong enough to get me back. As long as I drive decently. It'd be cool if you could do a uh, chase some American trucks and cops on that work a little bit. Come on. Uh-huh. Ah, uh -huh, you suck. There we go. 
Hold on. What can I do now? Oh, that'll be nice. You know I'd be loyal. I wonder if I can save the truck anywhere. Alright, so hopefully I can now um do some more story stuff, but I have a feeling I have to buy more assets. So I'm gonna try and store this at Sunshine Hunt. Actually, there's no point in storing this because it always spawns where I picked it up at. And it's now wedged under an awning. Because worry, old school man. video game physics. And it's on fire. Okay. Ooh, Seabird, come here. Run! Really? And they ran the red light, of course. I haven't been in one of the uh, hardware stores in this in a long time either. Let's do this. The marrow, or whatever it's called. Hermes. Cuban Hermes. One thing I've always loved about this car is one, it's got four exhausts. With an exhaust set up like this, you would have plates that you can put on the um, side pipes to force it through the back and be quieter, or take them off and go through the side pipes. But this also spits flames. And it's the only car in all of GTA that I've known to do this, other than like a backfire or something in um, GTA 5, for example. I've never seen any other car in any other GTA game just spit flames like these us. And I used to love it as a kid. It's one thing they used to do on old hot rods and stuff is put kits that would dump extra fuel into the cylinders and stuff and ignite it. Or you could put a secondary like hose or whatever from your fuel tank down to the exhaust with a spark plug and set it up to ignite either when you're on or off the throttle and open up and blah 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 and uh, shoot tons of flames. It is awesome. Go Sentinel Stretch Washington Admiral. I can probably get the Sentinel. So this isn't this the Sentinel? It is. Really? I was gonna say I could probably get it over by the beach, but why do I have to get one of the cars that's in the showroom? Watch it not let me. That'd be kind of funny. Alright. Delivered like a pro. Yeah, we already had it. Alright, um... Now what? I really like to figure out what's going on. Uh, totally random, random, but yeah. Ooh, that I think is the admiral. Yo, what the Washington. Hell are you, I'm not sure if they're wrong with this or not. It'd be nice to get this asset done too and make some decent money. The stretch will um the one from Love Fist work. Grab my Diablo again. Alright, I've got ten grand and need to figure out what to do again. I might just do some racing again. Ooh, a Mesa. But, um, it's kind of boring. But I'm pretty sure, other than the ice cream company, that's all I can really do at the moment is grab these cars, do races. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, be a projection. I used to love that thing, too. It's so slow, though. 
Um, I might as well do a race and get some more money. But story-wise, again, I have no idea what to do. And it got rid of my car because I have to too close. Uh, again, gotta love old games. And it's not spawning another one yet. Great. Okay. Um. And this is an admiral, which I always need. Oh, also need. Maybe I can just wait out front and watch all the cars I need show up. Now I need the Virgo in the stretch. I forget what the Virgo is though. You better tell him, Mario. You didn't get much money from that. Phoenix and it is not. I hate how these old games do that. Okay, I'm gonna steal this mesa before it gets by. Actually, what is this? Is this a Virgo? I don't think so. Esperanto. Okay. Not what I need. We'll steal this car instead then. Um, do race. Race, race, race. I was starting to look for cars instead, but I might as well do a race because then I can get money from it. And it's only like four minutes long or something. Oh, these spawned again, so I'm gonna use the deluxe instead. It'd be cool if you could just park cars in here and they would save. Move. Move, move. We do that for a living, asshole. I like this green on it. An emerald green. Looks good. Oops. It would look good in an emerald green or British racing green. Okay. Um, shift. Space. Space. Enter just backed me out last time, so I wasn't sure what button to press. Which I keep a forget. Alright, let's get this race over with. I don't know what this car is based on. Let everybody go to the right. No one keeps turning right. That's why this race is so easy and so worth it. There's a bridge. Hey, This one is a cheetah spawn there. I always thought it was like an oceanic or something that spawned there. Lower tier cars on it. There's a lot of cheetahs spawning here. That's... This is an inferno. It's really weird. Another thing I really like about this car is it's all wheel drive. So if you come up to a tight corner, you just quickly tap the uh, handbrake. Really? Uh oh, go, go, go. Why are they going into it? Like, I'm glad they are, but. By the way, this car is all wheel drive. So as I was saying, you come up to sharp corner, just tap handbrake. Counter steer a little bit, and you're good. Until you do that. 
Oh, they cannot drive. They went into the parking lot. Doing a little bit worse than usual this time, but whatever. One thing I don't get is how the headlights and street lamps and stuff in this work better than all well, the ones in B and Try driving at night B and you cannot see anything with high beams on it. Oh god. They managed to pit me to kinda. I should have used a cheetah, but whatever. It says 40, but it's 10 grand buy-in, so you're technically only winning 30. Wait. The Phoenix is still there. Um. Okay then. I didn't think it would still be there. That's kind of weird. I don't know what else to do, other than, like, like I said, the, um, ice cream factory and whatnot. So, I'm going to actually leave this video here, and then I will kind of look up what I gotta do next, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, it's up here. Uh, just a question. Oh, there's a hidden pack. Completely forgot about those. I should run around and get those, too. By the way, as usual, if you have any tips, tricks, questions, anything you want me to check out, you're to leave it in the comments below. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.